Hey there, welcome back, I'm the Fnatic, and while well, everyone is looking at scouting reports for the 2282 class that's coming up here in just a little bit, well, we might as well skip ahead and be crazy and start working on the 2020 feet reports. Um, personally, one of my favorite players in this class, Scoot Henderson, um, one of the things I really like about him, he's skipped his senior year of high school to play for the G League. Being the youngest player in the G League as well, he's shown a lot of really nice things. Uh, more importantly than anything else, this is a kid that has, that is going to get not just one year of NBA development experience with the G League, which was in itself is already great enough. Um, it's one of the reasons why I was so high on Jalen Green, but we're talking about getting the kind of development Jalen Green was getting for an extra year. Especially at such a young age, that can make a huge difference in a player's career. Uh, he's a rock-solid and explosive guard with some broad shoulders and a strong frame. He's got good um, above-the-rim finishing ability. He's got all the size and quickness for a high-level po NBA point guard. Um, frame, of course, is a huge thing to have nowadays. Not that you can't dominate without it, but... It certainly helps on the defensive end. Um, the physicals will help him as well. It's great that he already has the finishing intact because that's certainly going to be a much... Um, with the way the NBA is shifting, that's certainly going to be a much more... much more... a much more efficient way to score for a couple years to come. Um, we'll have to see if it really sticks on, but with the way the NBA is going, this is sort of becoming a really, really good thing to see. We're looking at guys like Darren Fox and um, Donovan Mitchell who have really good interior scoring game as guards, which is really working out for them personally, even if the team success isn't there. Um, he's got the strength to finish through, contract and, uh, through contact, and he's a creative finisher. He's at his best when he's driving hard to the rim and s does a good job of scoring. Obviously, with those, with that size and physicals, really help him get over the defender or around the defender when he needs to. Um, the most important things for him over the next couple of years are to refine his decision making, develop his ability to run the offense, work on that playmaking. Um, continuing to stay aggressive with his scoring instincts, maybe seeing about working a little bit on that jump shot. Not that I expect it's going to be a huge problem, especially at this point with him having NBA development for his jump shot. But it could certainly be exciting to see what a kind of player he turns into if he can work on that playmaking and he can um, he can find ways to lead a team at such a young age while also developing a uh, fully fleshed out offensive game. It would be a lot of nice things to see. Um, obviously, at such a young age, there's no um, already getting NBA development. There's no real weakness to him. Um, the only reason why anyone, the only reason why I'd say that Victor Wembanyama is the best prospect in the world is purely because he has better size and we've seen more out of him at the moment but at the same time scoot is going to continue to get nba development for another year and that's going to be really huge if we look at the kind of development that guys have in the nba between their first couple seasons it, it's going to be absolutely insane to see the kind of development that this kid can make and what kind of player he can develop into and come into the nba as because i expect that he will I expect that he'll come in and be a massive difference maker straight from the get-go. Um, if he isn't, then uh, this, this is a hill I'll die on. This is a hill I'd die on, with the purely with the amount of time that he has to develop and already dominating the G League as the youngest player in it. It's just insane. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please remember to like, Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.